good morning it's uh tuesday november the 7th um good productive day yesterday um cutting back all of that uh um well um, what would you call it well, it's an eating area by the old pizza oven i suppose uh, i've just got to cut the bamboo back on it uh, at some stage uh, yeah at some stage but um uh what else can i say it's uh it's a beautiful morning out there uh welcome to dave's workshop by the way and uh many thanks for watching my past videos um it's it, it, it's i'm in, i'm starting to enjoy um doing the videos now um even though they're they're not that not that good really but you know i'm still trying so uh last night uh, what did we have last night we had uh, like a fish pie and uh, the wife cooked it and uh, i had a glass of whiskey which is very nice um absolutely knackered though um because it was cold yesterday it's cold today but it's beautiful out there um but the uh, i'm going to trim the orchard today <coughs> or the perimeter of the orchard so um i'm going to be use using petrol tools today um if they work um so i'll be using a petrol strimmer not strimmer um hedge cutter maybe a chainsaw uh and clippers Le and let's see where we go from there um while it's while all, all the leaves are gone from the trees um the hedgerows it's a you can see where where they're overlapping into the orchard and he's i normally can drive a, a a mower um between the trees and the border but i can't at the moment so that's today's task and uh i'll try and film some arty shots shall i have got nothing to lose have i it's a bit of fun at the end of the day so let's um let's jog on shall we For lubricating these shears, I use chain juice. It's really quite good, it's ceramic. It lasts forever.
don't ever get cheap junk. These Magnuson pruners, rubbish, securing pin there, keeps on working loose, pain in the backside. Honestly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we may have a problem. Right, I found the problem. This here, this whole mechanism here, worked itself loose. And the castellated nut here was almost off because this split pin is as much use as a chocolate teapot. So what I've done, I've tightened everything up, put a locking nut on and put a safety pin on there. It's a temporary fix because I'm going to lock wire it. So let's see how that goes. In fact I might just lock wire the end or just put a zip tie, a small zip tie on the end. Anyway, let's crack on right as you can see completed this side it's just bagging it up and getting it to the uh, deschettery now that I did a couple of weeks ago well a couple of weeks maybe a month ago and it's starting to grow back already uh, I've done a bit of pruning to that tree there. It's going to go anyway because it's it'll be in the way of the garage. This is going to go um, because the garage, where I'm stood at the moment, by the gate, this is where the garage stroke workshop's going to be. Cool. Right, let's start bagging up. Well, it's uh, now half past five in the evening, and uh, I would say it's dusk, it's starting to get dark. Right, as you can see, this is my second load um, of all the um, cuttings. I'll just walk down and show you where I've been. Taking me all day this but I enjoy it so started at the top and gone all the way down now I can get my mower in between the trees jobs are good 
Ah, there's the rake. Better put that away. Anyway, good day's work. Hope you like the video. It's a bit of a hodgepodge, but you know, it's what I do. Uh, tomorrow, I will, I will be uh, putting a new SSD in my wife's laptop. I've up, upgraded the memory. It's just a case of putting it back together. Anyway, catch you later. Thanks for watching, my 35 subscribers. Bye.